Hello. Well, um, welcome if you're new or welcome back if you have been a part of Tawny's Mermaid Squad. Um, I wanted this kind of like mermaid diary, I guess, number three. Um, I figured I should probably talk to you guys about what's been going on. Um, so some of you guys who have been uh, watching my um, I go live on Facebook uh, we have mermaid time with their pearls and um, basically I did tell you guys so in San Diego when we went down there me and mermaid B um, who is like my right hand man because you know mom and Gage are over in Ohio so helping me ship helping me do all uh, you know all the back end side stuff <laughs> that you guys don't see what's not on the camera. So, you know, our rewards programs, all of those things um, she helps me with. And I don't like to make excuses or also I don't like, you know, everyone has stuff going on, but if everyone's been wondering, I know, <clears throat> how do I get into this? I just want you guys not to worry. Like I know that my health, like I got, I pushed myself too far and everyone was like, oh my God, like even Patrick and my own mother were like, are you sure you shouldn't be talking to the doctor? Like what's going on? Um, and if you're wondering, first of all, I have to side note why I'm a mess is because I keep wanting to record and start vlogging and it's just too hard. And then also with the brain aneurysm, one of the hardest things that I'm having to learn how to work past is this um, new like anxiety and then you can't th people with brain injury have a really hard time starting things um, and I will give a perfect example of cooking dinner or making yourself food I will get hungry and then I'm like well what am I gonna make should I make this do I do that and I end up trying to think about all the different things you have to do to cook or to make food and then I will just not eat. So um, that's something actually that's really common with brain injuries. And I know a lot of people when I say brain injury, they're like, but you had a brain aneurysm. A brain aneurysm is just a big, first of all, you can have an aneurysm in any part of your body. It's when a, one of your veins, it bulges and has a weird malformation or it ruptures. So just think of, you know, in your arm, well, when the doctor explained it to me, he was like, the thing is, is when you have an aneurysm, usually like in a vein or an artery first or ruptures, so breaks, your body, the surrounding area would swell and then it would kind of cut off the, the blood flow to there and it would stop. But in your brain, everything's fluid. So my brain never knew that there was a leak. So I was just leaking and bleeding for an entire week. So, um, <clears throat> I have learned so much more this past month by, um, really talking about it and finding out how many people and how unique, I mean, obviously everybody's brain is different. Um, but just how many young people and even people in the medical community who were, who have learned about brain aneurysms weren't right off the bat. Someone, she had a ruptured brain aneurysm at work. She, a nurse she was like they were learning about strokes and she said she even joked like maybe I'm having a stroke so I know that like when you hear not able to talk Ella Renee you have been extremely loud today this like the 10th one and it's we haven't even been up for that long so um sorry Ella is my dog and of course dogs don't your dogs have a middle name um so this is kind of I'm trying to vlog and do more mermaid diaries and explain stuff, raising awareness. I don't want people to think you have to have a brain aneurysm to, you know, want to hang out or be here, but it's just that I have found with, it started with the pearls, just like, cause that's how you meet. So we're hanging out, we're talking, and I have met some really amazing people who, I mean, it's been over a year now, like me and Tracy will be friends for a year, like me and Marie B. So it's just like, I have met a lot of awesome people. And um, I just want with all of these suicides and all of this like death and negativity, I just want this fun, positive place. And um, I want to thank this Gary V. If you haven't heard about him, Gary Vaynerchuk, he's just like, 
record stuff. He's like, I mean, record it for you so that when I'm 90, I can look back at this. So instead of like looking through my journals, like how cool, like, you know, I can look back at this. And I say like record it for your kids, but like that's also what I wanted to talk about um, is, you know, a lot of people don't, you know, they're, first of all, <clears throat> two of my best friends are having babies. They're having girls, one already had her. Um, so super exciting, but it's also, it's also hard because I'm at a point now where everyone is asking, are you going to have a baby? Well, after the brain aneurysm, I know the doctor goes, you would be a high risk case. He's like, you would most definitely have to see a specialist. So, um, I don't know. And you know, I won't know. So I'm going to bring you guys along on that process because I just feel like, you know, talking to my two friends, um, how people don't talk about all the other stuff. They always just say like, oh, the joy of childbirth and that, but no one ever talks about like, you know, how hard it can be to get pregnant. Some people, you know, and I don't want to give away all of my friends stuff. So I'll have to talk to them, but some people, you know, it's like, Everyone has a different body and life and things that happen. So, and I feel like I always ask them things because I know in pregnancy, they always say, oh, the cravings and stuff. But it's like, no, I want to hear, besides that you pee a lot, I got to hear like more of the stuff because I feel like nobody wants to talk about it. And there's this like stigma and women feel like they can't. Like we were talking about postpartum depression. Like she was like, I'm just so afraid of what if that happens. I go, if it does happen, we will help you through it. Like you will know that that's, you know, like, you will be like, oh my gosh, this isn't right. Like I'm extremely depressed. I don't want to be with the baby. I was like, you set the baby down and you go get someone. Like, so I just feel like, you know, and she was the, I'm her best friend and she almost didn't even want to talk to me about that. So I just know women, if we could just talk about it and have like a fun, safe place. I know that on YouTube um, or on Facebook and a lot of people on social media, it's funny. They're like, I, you know, I watch, but I don't comment. Cause like I didn't, and I was like, you know what the funniest thing is? The best part about the internet is everyone who sits there and spends time giving you a thumbs down or writing something nasty. First of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, spending your time, which you could do with so much more fun, positive things that you would love to do. So um, don't, and that's what I'm trying, Gary Vee is like, don't not do something because of someone else. Like, think of how silly that is. He's like, so what you're saying is that you care more about what somebody else thinks about you than you care about yourself. So, hence, I clearly do not care um, what, because life's too short. So I wanted to do this fun. I'm trying to look in a mirror if you're like, why are you looking like that? It's funny because it's straight down. It's half and half. So that I can have lots of fun because I get bored with my hair color. 